the drums of war thunder once again. Hi, this is Dello. Uh, welcome back to another multiboxing video. Uh, this is a very quick one for a friend of mine who's starting out in multiboxing and wanting to do some two boxing in classic, uh, just so he can level up a, a second character alongside his first one. So what we have set up here is a very simple program called Key Clone, which basically takes whatever keys you push on the keyboard and relays them to your second window. So what I've set up is just a Mage uh, and Warrior combo. And here you can see pressing 1, I'm simply attacking with my Warrior and it's doing Frostbolt on the Mage. This was fairly quick to set up, I did it all in probably under 5 minutes. So if we have a look at the, the Key Clone app here in the sort of bottom left of my screen, it's a fairly simple setup. You can see that I've got World of Warcraft running, uh, two different boxes. So basically, when you want to turn off multi-boxing, you simply click the override button, which is also set to pause on your keyboard. Now, when you go into the key client setup by hitting setup, you simply go into do not pass, and you push all the keys that you do not want the second window to see. So keys like return, escape, uh, all your movement keys so your follow doesn't break, F1 through to F12, so selecting group members or, or opening bags. Um, so basically all the keys you don't want. I already have Keyclone installed and set up here. If you Google Keyclone, you'll be able to find the software, but I will have a link in the description for you. It's a fairly easy setup. I just installed it and I ran the Warcraft windows I wanted to play with and it automatically detected them. Last thing I mentioned about Keyclone, there is a $20 license fee. Now, you will need a macro set up on your follower character. So simply, you want it to have follow main character, assist main character, and cast ability. Pretty much as you can see on the screen here. So fairly simple, and you can do this for any of your abilities or however you want to set it up. So just copy something similar to this, play around with it, make it your own, but uh, this is a good way to get started. So you can see here, I, I hit one, and he now assists and follows my main character. So here we go, I'm on the main window, moving towards an enemy. So here I am, I'm going to start clicking one, and you can see that my mage will move towards the character because it's following the uh, main, and then it will start assisting and attacking with frost bolts. And that's it. Very quick one today. Feel free to ask questions in the, in the comments, uh, and please like and subscribe. I'm Dello. Bye for